say nothing, let's pause and think about it. My press shouldn't see, shouldn't eat a drink without him. He keep me afloat, no joke, I sink without him. And guarantee you go weak, you go a week without him. See, I praise the famous one from Nazareth who led me through the labyrinth and rap me like Lazarus. Huh? The homies wanted to show me what the cabbage get. He warned me about the wolf, though, and showed me what the rabbits get. Oh. Now I shed a man of the manuscript like a Seraphonician. At least I get doggy bits. <laughs> Gladly take the crumbs from his table though Make a cake for his servant so that he able yo See senor, that's that glossy in Los Angeles And the harvest is ripe, we need more evangelists Before they grow and wanna know what them hammers get How they hope dies under the cries that they never sits And I'm talking more than boy, pull your pants up The kind of love that make you wanna pull your mans up By reading Romans of bond, serving in handcuffs Serving his wife Christ like I'm talking man stuff And this is way before man up that's not a diss, it's been with the missus for 10 plus. And I can tell you it's more than money and sex stuff. It's more about glorifying the God who made us. In the image of him, in the image of them. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, hope I'm mimicking him. I rhyme his praises, got seraphim listening in. They want to write it, but they wings got a missing a pen. Okay, I'm getting carried away if I'm missing again. Oh, did I mention how my sins ever mentioned again? As far as the east from the west, as I'm resting in him. Christ crucified and rose, so I'm pressing with him. Now I wake up scriptures out and thank god for his ride when i venture out and when i feel trapped and think i can't i think call being that over that wall the people champ see how they all start to degrade us see how they all starting to hate us man i feel it when i wake up but wait wait, wait wait they ain't us so we gotta serve with a purpose grace you and i you know we don't deserve this away pause and think about it my mind was blown open. Everything I was searching for, everything I was hoping I found in you. The truth, contradiction to my wrong. You, the truth, my sorrow into psalm. You took me by the palm and struck my hand with the bind as a sign to remind my infatuation. That by following you and your many declarations, I in time could become a faultless generation. A mighty man of God summoning down rain. A prophet eating locusts as I prepare the king's reign. The Elijahs have come. One remains alive. But even in your power, I'm appointed once to die. And that is why I want a divorce. Again, when I met you, you were so Hebrew. Draped in Mount Sinai. Pregnant with previews of things soon to come. If to our son you gave birth. Why did you not tell me your ovaries carry curse? You only spoke of the angels that gave you divine counsel, never mentioning my ankle would be chained to your espousal. Egyptian matrimony. Girl, you deserve a Tony for acting like you could ever, ever make me holy. You dressed me like a Pharisee, but I was the publican. Nothing but dry bones exposing my skeleton. The look of righteousness revealed in my cardigan, the prestige of a priest, never the good Samaritan. You confused me. By the work you had me do, you abused me by the rules you bound me to. You can take me out the sin, but not the sin out of me. You do not have the power to set me free. I don't want you, Hagar. You are a bond maid. I cast out the bond woman and her son. I don't want you, law. And the way you enslave our marriage tonight, consider it done. I want a divorce. Because I met someone better, I serve him in the spirit, not the oldest of the letter. For the law made nothing perfect, but mentally insane. If righteousness come by the law, Christ is dead in vain. You had me remember how infected I was. You let it linger like pop marks from pimples that pus. For it is impossible for the blood of animals to take away sin. The sanity of my mind, you cannot defend me without the shedding of blood. There's no remission for sins. I need something greater than ritualistic amends. I need the blood of the lamb, not the word of the law. And the blood of this man came cold, came raw. Spilling out of heaven into the likeness of sinful flesh. Condemning in himself all of Adam's regrets. Condemning in himself all of my intimacy defects, making my circumcision have no power affecting my position in the kingdom aside God's elect for in Christ Jesus. Neither circumcision avail of anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Old things passed away, all things become a new plus features, eternal redemption from the crimson that left your life stained, freedom from the prison that made your faith drain, power to repent and reconcile the blame, ability to renounce every ounce of shame, so then brethren. 
We are not children of the bond woman, but of the free. The promise isn't Isaac. It's not Ishmael. You see, it is not doing the law that will get you killed. It's forgetting the law has already been fulfilled. That Jehovah the sick and new kept this promise. Abraham's seed embodies the bruised heel. This is the same seed the law tried to kill. This is the same seed by his stripes you are healed. He is the high priest showing infirmity. He feels Jesus, who is justice, has left us justified. The law is knowledge of sin, but Christ crucified the old man within birth by homicide, wages of sin, but grace multiplies, chastening of the Lord, now intensified, all of my transgression, now indemnified, all of my ugliness, now beautified, every measure of guilt, now pacified, every trace of poison, now detoxified by the blood of the lamb, that's sanctified, for you are dead unto that law, I am dead unto that law, that may live unto God, a beautiful representation of his perfection, budding like Aaron's rod, chosen before my sin quantified, broken, still qualified. And this is why I recommend you get a divorce. I extend to you now the do of salvation, Jesus. He is yours if you want him, Jesus. He died when you did not know him. He rose when we ignored him. He is yours if you want him, Jesus does not see a sinner. You are his son. You are his daughter. That makes you a winner by grace. The heavens are son of God and his grace. So please receive it by faith. God bless you.